I'm just going to share this out, so give me a second. Alright, yeah, let's have a look at Sniper. And in fact, uh, just to save everyone the pain, I uh, know. The hell with it, yeah. So let's just, let's have a look at Sniper. Uh, the reason why I wanted to crack this, I actually, uh, or the reason why I picked it up, I, I won it in the Pay It Forward group. I know you guys uh, probably are aware of that group. It's the Wargamers Pay It Forward group on Facebook and allows us to uh, share those somewhat unloved games with someone else who thinks they should be loved and played. So I won this uh, quite some time ago. I just received it. And I actually own the flat pack version of this. And this is a updated version from the TSR guys. And so hopefully it will... Uh, yeah, it is an oldie, isn't it? Uh, and this is a, a well-loved copy, I would say. has it to say. Let me move my coffee cup out of the way. And let's, so let's have a look. You know, the back of it does the... You can see it's all kind of ripped up here and whatnot, but uh, it's not in quite as good a condition as I thought it was. Uh, they call this a medium complexity game, one to four hours playing uh, time and number of players too. And I want to show you, in fact, what I'll do is there's some rips here as well. What I'll do, I'll show you the two side by side so we can have a look at them and compare the two. So we jump in. First thing you're going to notice is that there's actually a big honk and rule book. Uh, and when I say big, uh, it's big compared to the original. It's 30 pages, and the other one was kind of a fold-out type of type of deal. It's a pretty straightforward gig. Uh, most of it, though, I think is going to be scenarios. I think, yeah, scenarios. And then there's different bits and pieces here. All the charts and tables are inside the rules, which is kind of a drag, but. Oh, that's okay. I really enjoyed playing this back in the day. I, I mean, when I was a kid, I, I picked this up and uh, me and my buddy played the absolute living crap out of it. So now we have nice full color, colorful counters. Uh, looks like there are some of the vehicles are, are made up in here. Actually, I haven't really seen it. See. Oh, so the, oh, the, the tanks are all cut out and done. I had to mount the tanks and cut them out myself with my old one. You should have seen the job I did as a kid. They're, they're pretty hilarious. I was never into crafts. I don't even know what that is. What sort of vehicle is that? Okay, so then we've got a brew-up. By the looks, <laughs> looks of it, is that a brew-up? Looks like a brew-up, doesn't it? And then these counters are just stock standard stuff. The artwork kind of sucks on them pretty much. I mean, that's some pretty hideous art. That's uh, that's even worse than the platoon art. That's why we hated you, TSR. Uh, and they're all just different colors, I guess. Whereas the original sniper was really just, uh, I think, two sides. Now, what you do get is full color maps. So you get uh, a bunch of maps here. They're double-sided. This is kind of the expanded edition, I guess. So you've got uh, city terrain on one side. This is the this is the original map, except it's much prettier, and <laughs> you might think, pretty, Kev, really, but this is a much better looking map than the old map because it has color. <laughs> uh, for that reason only, and also has the windows defined a little more uh, gracefully and all the rest of it. So there's uh, this kind of interesting terrain with the hills and trees and things. That's kind of cool. And there's a second map in here. Which I almost just ripped then, that would have been special. Uh, more of the same terrain and, and, and another uh, another set of stuff, right? You can see that. And everything's kind of, is it orthogonal? Is that the word? Everything's orthogonally laid out, so it all it maps to the, the contours of the, the shape of the hexes. Then there's some more info counters and a couple of charts and bullshit activation tracks and things like that. None of which came with the other game. The info counters came, of course. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna so I, I'm, I'm uh, excited like a 12 year old for this game because uh, that's what it, that's what I had it last was when I was 12. So bear with me. Now let's.
that's entertaining. Where's my copy of Sniper? Bear with me, gang. Bear with me. What have I done with it? Hey, does anyone want to buy a copy of Wellington's Victory? In uh, Shrink Group? What do you call it? In a uh, flat box? Moscow campaign I bought from someone for $5. Counters all counterparts. Here, here's Mos here's Red Star, White Star. Did I put it in there? Nope. Well, where'd my where'd my game sniper go? Well, so much for showing you uh, showing you that. Huh. Is that it? That's a bad sign when you have too many games. And you can't you can't find stuff. Uh alright. Well, so much for showing you uh, a side-by-side, -side, because now I'm going to have to find it. Yeah, they did release a Hetzer version, a uh, Hetzer Sniper version. Uh, that's next on my list. I want to get the, uh, you know, them fighting the aliens. I think that would be uh, classic. Hey, Danny, good to see you. Welcome, Brian and John. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to catch up on the comments here. Okay. So, uh, the plan, <laughs> oh, the plan was to show you, did I put it in a special baggie? What did I do? I know I didn't, did I sell it? That would be really stupid if I sold it. Well, shit stickles. Hang in there. Nope. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, the original sniper had uh, movement uh, locks, simultaneous movement, and I assume this does too. I haven't read the rules yet. Well, dang it. Well, it's a sad day. I have no idea where that is. All right. So much for that. Well, look, that, that makes it a short video, doesn't it? Because uh, I can't compare the two boxes with you or for you. All we can do is have a look at this stuff and uh, be marveling at the oldness of it. Uh, yeah, maybe. Well, you know what? I came home and the cat had jumped on this piece of cardboard here and bounced all of these uh, information track stuff off of this... Uh, this game and I uh, found counters on the floor down here and she said oh yeah I vacuumed <laughs> so I hope it's uh, I hope I haven't lost anything it looks like everything is there uh, but that doesn't mean it is okay I'm gonna let you guys go now if you come back in just a few minutes I'm going to do a shrink rip of you know what what the hell we're starting another video. Let's just do it. Let's just do it now. Who wants to have a look at this guy? <clears throat> Under Paris. Let me just move all this other stuff out of the way. I'm gonna need a knife. That's not a knife. This is a knife. Let's have a look at this and see what we got. Now, who is familiar with this 1870-1871 on to Paris, Franco-Prussian War? Anybody? Does anyone know Milan Beckvar? I purchased this primarily because it's yet another game. Now, so who does that? Who puts the box lid on? Because it is founded on or based on the uh, the system for the American Civil War, 
uh, the old uh, who did that design I forget his name now um, I can't remember it'll be in here it'll be in the rules when we get into it I bet anyway uh, I was very curious about it just because of that but I you know I also bought Simonich's US Civil War because it was allegedly based on uh, the American Civil War and I like the rules for that game. I've read the rules twice. I've never actually sat down to play the game and I've been told it takes 10 minutes to learn and a lifetime to master, etc., etc. Never done it. So, first things first, let's have a look. That, wow. Yeah. 64 page rule book. Okay, let's have a look and see if it's really 64 pages. I'd heard about, I'd heard about this already and was kind of stunned <coughs> that this is the size of the rule book. But let's have a look. Feel free to ask questions. I was talking about uh, VG Civil War, Greg. Yeah, sorry. Uh, counter errata on the very first page. Okay. Why do the... Oh, there we go. Under Paris is a two-player operational game depicting the Franco-Prussian War. Uh, this war which covered much of the same ground as the German invasion of France in World War I. Okay, well, every war kind of covered that ground. But that's fine. Uh, Belgium is the uh, smashing ground for, and for ground for death in warfare. Let's see. Then it refers to World War One again. The scope and intensity mirrored the opening moves of World War One. However, unlike in World War One, the Prussian armies were able to force their way to Paris. While the Prussians initially inflicted numerous defeats on the French, causing the uh, on the Paris is one player will command the forces of France while the other will command the invading those invading France. The North German Confederation. Okay. Uh, 15 days a turn and 15 mile per hex. Cores and things. Okay. Well, the rule book looks nice. It's got that going for it. Relatively big font. Prussian army leader restrictions. Oh, sorry, Prussian army leader restrictions. Wounded leader replacements. Wow. Okay. Creation of armies, removal of armies. Pretty pictures. Reinforcements. Okay. Command points, actions. Yeah, we got a lot of rules here. Movement and control. So page 35, we get to the movement part. With lots of diagrams and optional rules and design notes sort of jammed in here as well. All right. Hey, John Connor, good to see you, man. Rail movement. Reactions, see movement. I'm kind of taking my time looking at this because I'm very curious about it. Uh, okay, combat. Hmm. Combat odds, differentials, overruns. Huh. Assault doctrine penalties, moralization effects. Cavalry divisions, fortifications. Man, this is jam packed full of crap, isn't it? <laughs> and an index in the back. So it is 62 pages of rules, without a doubt. All right. Whoa. Okay. 
There'll be that. Playbook. Another 56 pages. <clears throat> Should have this read and set up tomorrow and played by tomorrow afternoon. Holy crap. Yeah, John, I think uh, I'm probably going to try and do... Uh, I just did a little video a few minutes ago. I'm going to try and play the Zombies game uh, tonight, maybe, if I don't fall asleep. I'm super tired. Uh, let's see. Scenarios. So how many scenarios? Oh, let's just see that. We don't need to go through the whole book. I uh, can't read that. That's a... Scenario four, eight. Looks like there's eight scenarios. Really ch poor choice of font color there. Uh, let's look at the setup charts. Russian forces. I'm just curious about the layout. You know, it's one thing to have a big game and lots of rules. Another thing to, you know, if it takes you a ton of time to set up as well, then these look like a second. And the map and everything else. There's another one. <clears throat> okay. Whatever's. Designer notes, player notes. I always love player notes in uh, in games. Half the time, I look at the player notes and I, I, I and I, I I see how I play. I look at how these guys played, and it never works out the same. And all their tips and tricks and hints never really help you. In fact, more more often than not, they hurt you. I have stopped reading player notes. I only read designers' notes. All right, let's pull the rest of this out here. Two dice in there. So we've got some army cards that we don't know what they're good for. On the back of them, there's histories of the of the army groups. That's kind of cute. I like that. All right. Another horrid font that says sequence there, and, and I'll show you what I mean by horrid. I'm not I'm not being a dick about it. Let's. I've stopped streaming. No, I haven't. About. Hello. Okay, someone said I'm not streaming anymore. Uh, uh, it looks like I'm here still. If someone can hear me or see me, please just post a comment so we know. Otherwise, I'll uh, reset the uh, connection. I'm back. All right, maybe. Okay. What the hell? Let's just keep going. Soldier on. Probably just lagging up a little bit because I'm moving too many things around. Okay, sequence of play chart. I, I guess that's a rule. That's a four there. Yeah, combat sequence. I can't actually. That. Wow. Not that it matters, but that's horrible. Uh. I guess that's a font you'll get used to. I guess this is supposed to be some sort of summary of major things. Retreat rules, effects of something, effects of the fall of the empire, determining the victor in a combat. Hmm. Man, who, cho who chose that shit? Seriously. Look at that. Whatever. Here's another new font. Oh, same font here. Okay, another army card. Army card. French core card. SP strength. How to keep track of the cores. What? Oh no. I wonder if this is going to be one of those games. It is. Yep. Huh. Okay. I don't know anything about this game yet, and so we're just gonna we're gonna reserve judgment right until we play. But this game over here that I'm playing right now has has a chart that you put all the count you put the the strength marker on for the given unit and you move it up and down as it gains and loses strength i uh threw all that away and just put pollard chits underneath the units uh i took them from the last split screen finally found a use for that game uh for the counters from that game so we're going to uh Maybe do the same thing here. Excuse me. 
French leader histories. Well, lots of history in here, so that's really cool. I mean, this is a really nice looking game. It's just, there's a, a lot to it, eh? A lot of charts. Fuck me, look at this. Gee. Some siege progress. Is what that says. I think that's what that says. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Well, and then here's a big double. <laughs> oh my god, what is this? This is all just the rules broken down into summary format. That actually might be pretty handy. And it's got the charts on the back here, by the looks of it. What's that? A ter ter terrain effects chart. This is CRT of some sort. No, no, that's artillery. Artillery. Oh, here's, holy cow. Here's the uh, combat results table. Okie dokie. Let's have a look at the map. There's two maps. This is a small uh, sized map. I'll have to check the, what's it saying here? I'm gonna say it's 18 by something sized map. Doesn't say the size. So here is uh, okay. Brussels, Verdun, Metz. So this is the Belgian, uh, the Northern Plains area. The uh, I guess this is kind of basically you got your Ardennes here. This is big scale. So there's Luxembourg there. Uh, Strasbourg, Belfort, and I'm guessing the second map attaches to the left. So we'll try and make better room. Uh, and something just fell on the floor. So we've got Paris to the left. Let me bring it over here. So there's Paris, the double, the double red box there, here, fortifications, uh, and then there's France, right? So pretty straightforward stuff. Very colourful, vibrant colours. Let's have a look at the uh, terrain chart and see what it's got to say for itself. Can you guys see that okay? So there's variations in uh, color of clear forest hex sides, forest hex, swamps, and all your usual bits and pieces. I'm sorry if that's blurred there. How's that? Huh. Very interesting. Let's have a look at the counters. The counters are... Well, counters are actually... about the same width as the as the, the print on demand if not thinner yeah you can see that or not you can't see it but they're about the same about the same as the uh, same width as the or thickness as the print on demand game that I showed you earlier on all right, so we got uh, one counter sheet here. Uh, these look like, uh, I don't know. These are the, the counters. Um, I guess some of these are just printed, they're printed alternatively. I, I don't know why. Uh, these look like leader names or, or division names. Here's Napoleon the Third. Whoa, I need to drop the camera. Hang on, everyone brush yourselves. Let's see. Let's see if we can check this out. Maybe you can find something that's a little less busy. What is the Okay. Prussians. I'm just going to move the camera, so just bear with me here. Huh. Oh, 
Okay, well. I'm kind of stumped. I don't know why they printed it upside down. I mean, I, I'm sure it's some convenience for the art, for the artwork or, or the, the layout, but these are all hidden on the back. So you're going to have to flip them all over and make sure the right way up. Hmm. And these are the strength chits, I'm guessing. Here's your core markers to keep track of your cores, pontoons, supply depots and bits. Interesting. Well, I'm a little, these are just really super busy. I'm trying to, I guess that's a hat or something. What is that? Is that really a hat? Is that what that is? Well, I don't know. Okay, well, there you have it. A lot of charts, 64 pages of rules, some uh, beautiful maps in a kind of funky way, and some interesting artwork. Yeah, Greg, I mean, well, hello, everybody else. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, don't judge until you've played, right? Oh, God bless it. This looks like a fucking mess. Um, <laughs> maybe it's going to be awesome. Who knows? And I really want to know what size these, these, these maps are, because these feel like they're smaller maps. There's got to be, that doesn't see here. These feel like they're, uh, you know, these are not the 36 by 24 or 32 by 24 the way you used to. This is, uh, I know it's a Kepi, dude. I know it's a hat, but I mean, it, it, it but why, why, why? <laughs> oh, the Prussians have different helmets. I, oh, geez. Okay. All right. Well, who knows? I'm sure there was a very good reason for it. I just... I think this is going to be a lot of work. This is going on the to be played at some point. I was really very curious about uh, finding a title that would cover this period that was going to be consumable, and that's going to be work. And uh, I got lots of work going on right now. I got lots of work right now with uh, the next war and other stuff. So this will not be getting to the table real soon. We are going to do some sniper pretty soon at some point. I'm going to I'm going to get that bad boy up on the table. And later tonight, if things all go well and I don't uh, jet lag out on you, I will uh, crank out some uh, Dead Reckoning and we'll see what happens from there. That was a combined sniper onto Paris uh, trick rippy thingy looky thingy. All right, I'll talk to all of you. Solo rating low. Is that what it said? It did not say that. Come on. It said solo rating high. Look at that. Super high. That's because you'll need a lifetime to do it. But there we go. Playing map. 38 and a half by 25. Uh, two maps. So these two maps are 38 by 25. There you go. Someone did the math. There it is. Okay, okay, okay guys. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, appreciate. Always appreciate someone uh, checking in. You guys are awesome. Yeah, well, uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna let the, uh, let the video end. Uh, I agree with you, Greg.